Welcome, Matrons. So first I want to say if my voice sounds a little weird or off, I am not using my normal microphone. I was moving or have been moving and I have no idea where it went. So I'm using my gaming headset, so hopefully it sounds okay. So anyways, in today's video, uh, speaking of gaming, I'm going to be doing Sylveon, which is an EV evolution in Pokemon. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take a Elmer's glue stick. It's the purple washable kind and I'm going to actually mat down my eyebrows because I don't need those showing. I normally use a few layers, letting it dry in between the layers. Next, I'm going in with a white eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna kind of map out the design I want to what I'm kind of going for. And it's pretty basic. Sylveon's, uh, my recreation of Sylveon rather, isn't that complicated. Next, I'm going in with this bubblegum pink color from Mayron and I'm putting it all over my forehead, which makes my forehead look way bigger than it even is, but it already is pretty big. So, you know, I'm just covering the whole thing. And then I'm also using that pink on my nose. Next, I'm taking white from Mayron and I'm going to be covering my whole face. And yes, it is a little streaky. I eventually uh, address that, but for now, just covering my whole face in some white body paint from Mayron. Of course, avoiding the pink areas. That kind of goes without saying. Next, I'm going to be going into my Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm going to be taking the brightest blue color, I believe it's called Gonzo, and I'm going to be using that to contour my face and also go around the pink edges. And then I started contouring my nose with that as well, kind of making my nose look a little bit wider than it really is. And that's when I realized that the paint was just a little too streaky for me, so I decided to go in with some cream paint. So I grabbed my Makeup Forever Clown White cream paint and I started patting it out with a makeup sponge and going over all that white. And as you can see, it made the white more opaque and also also took away all the streaks. I just don't like the feeling of cream paint. If any of you have used it and put it all over your face, do you feel what I feel like? The cream paint doesn't feel good. Once that's done, I'm actually just setting it with a translucent powder just to make sure it doesn't crease any more than it probably is going to anyways because cream makeup, it just creases on me really easy. Then I go back into that same blue and I started contouring my nose even more. And then I also went back through it and contoured my cheeks again just to make the color pop. It was still kind of showing through that white, but I wanted it to stick out more. And I also put a little bit underneath my lip, my bottom lip. And then on the top lip, I just fill it in with that same blue. And I'm sorry if you hear background noise, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. It's a long story. We'll get to it later. Next, I'm going to be going in to some more Mayron body paint and I'm actually gonna be using a sky blue color and I'm gonna go around the outline of my lips as well as adding a line from the nose to the lip. Then I'm going back into the Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm grabbing the hot pink color from that and putting it on my lids and kind of blending it out into my crease, kind of just working it into the lid itself. I'm also gonna be dragging some of it underneath my eyelid and I'm okay with it being kind of messy, just kind of just having fun with it. And there's also a silver color in that electric palette and I'm going to tap it onto my lid because I didn't really want color but I thought it needed something more than just white there so I'm gonna tap it there. Of course this is a Sylveon inspired look. I'm not trying to make myself look like Sylveon. I'm just trying to make myself look like a human version of Sylveon. I don't know. Anyway so I'm taking that same pink from that Urban Decay Electric palette that I used on my lids and actually using it as my blush and then I realized it was a little bit intense so I tapped it out and I also went in to more of that blue and kind of just added more of the blue where I felt like I needed it. After that's done, I actually stuck on this wig and if you saw my $100 cosplay Fortnite costume from ordered from Amazon, then you know this is the wig from that. And then I put some ears on that I clipped on. Uh, they're just made out of paper, colored in with Copic. I went in with a NYX white liquid eyeliner and I didn't realize that I was almost out so this ended up being kind of a choppy job and I apologize, but I kind of gave myself a semi wing. I didn't want to go too crazy since it was running out. And then because I felt like I needed a little bit more, I added these lines kind of where the crease in my lid is. Next, I went ahead and added some black mascara. After that was done, I covered the rest of my body in the white body paint from Mayron, and then I actually did the same thing and went in with some cream makeup to kind of make it more opaque and less streaky. Once that's done, I went back into that blue and contoured my collarbone and underneath my chin. Then I decided I needed a little bit of sparkle because Sylveon to me kind of seems like she would have that if she was a slightly human kind of a person. And I put one on my forehead and then I put two on the sides of my temples almost, I guess, her temples. And then I also put some right underneath my eyes and one on the center of my bottom lip. And with that, I am done. I thought this was kind of an easy, kind of fun thing to do. I actually filmed this a while ago, but I'm kind of behind because a lot of things went down, but hopefully you like it anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of any other upcoming videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!